Emitriptyline. Now let's see the key features of Emitriptyline. Emitriptyline is a tricyclic antidepressant agent or the TCA agent. Now the term tricyclic is been used because of its structure, the molecular structure. Amitriptyline prevents the reuptake of norepinephrine and serotonin at the neuronal level. Let's understand by this mechanism with the help of this diagram. This is our nervous system of the body. The neuronal pathways over all whole body is been depicted in this diagram. Now let's zoom into the brain. Now this is a two neurons, neuron A and neuron B. Now there has to be signal transmission from A to B. For this, neuronal transmitters are present which are basically chemical messengers. This happens with the help of good neurotransmitters. In a normal person, this good neurotransmitters are released and quickly absorbed and they do a quick action which is appropriate. But in a depressed person, what happens is that since lack or decreased neurotransmitters or the chemicals, there occurs decreased signal transmission. Because of that, there is low mood and hence the person suffers from depression. Now if we give a drug like amitriptyline, now this what this drug does is that it prevents the reabsorption and hence there is relative increase of neurotransmitters available at the neurons and hence there is elevation of the mood and the depression signs decreases and the person feels relaxed. Now let's see the brain gut system. Normal brain produces good signals to gut and causes normal gut cycle. But in depressed patients, since good neurotransmitters are decreased, hence there are clinical features like irritable bowel, stomach ache, dyspepsia, nausea, etc. Amitriptyline not only acts on the brain but also directly acts on GI nervous system and causes release of good neurotransmitters, hence regulates the normal GI cycle. Studies have shown good response with use of amitriptyline in functional gastrointestinal disorders. Now coming to the side effects of amitriptyline. Amitriptyline is a useful but dangerous drug. Let's see the side effects. Dry mouth, bad taste, constipation, urinary retentions. These are the common side effects of amitriptyline. It can also cause confusion and weakness. It can also lead to increased appetite which may cause weight gain. It can also cause sweating. It, it also lowers the seizure threshold. Hence, it is unsafe in epileptic patients, especially in children. It can also cause postural hypotension, which is basically manifested when a patient suddenly stands uh, while he is sleeping. And also, uh, it can lead to cardiac arrhythmias. Although amitriptyline is a useful drug but it also has many side effects hence one has to see the risk benefit ratio and then only use amitriptyline. Thank you.